What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be painting. Let me just show you. A couple of quick things before we get into it. The brushes that I'm using today are a combination of brushes from the Procreate app. So they are ones that you already have in your brush library and a couple of free brushes that you can get from my website. You can follow the link in the description to download those. The color palette that I am using is a monthly color palette that I send out to my newsletter subscribers. So if you want to get that and all of the color palettes of months and years past, you can sign up for my newsletter. Also following the link in the description. Let's get into it. So to start off, I'm working in a square blank canvas and I have just one layer. I'm going to start out by changing the background color. I'm going to choose this taupe color and I'm going to just change the amount of white mixed in to lighten it up slightly and then make it slightly less saturated as well. And then on my first layer, I am using a solid white color and I'm going to go in to the inking panel, which is a native Procreate brush set. So this comes with the app. I'm gonna use the technical pen to draw our base shape. And this is going to start with a rectangle on the bottom. So I'm going to draw just a general rectangle shape, making sure to close up the ends. And then without lifting my pencil, you'll see it becomes a quick shape. And then I am going to use one finger to tap to make a square. In this option that pops up here, I'm gonna tap edit shape and change it to a rectangle. I'm going to tap anywhere to get out of that menu and tap this arrow to just straighten it out slightly as much as possible. I'm lining it up with the edge of my canvas to try to eyeball it to be nice and level. I'm gonna make sure that it's on the uniform selection so that it keeps its proportions as we resize it. And then I have magnetics turned on to allow it to snap just to make it a little easier to position and scale. I'm going to center it on the canvas with a large margin up here on the top. Then I'm going to tap this arrow to deselect and we're going to draw the circle for the arch. Press and hold to create an ellipse and then tap one finger on the screen to make a perfect circle. And then I am lining this up so that it creates a smooth transition from the straight line of the rectangle into the arch of the curve. I'm not worried about these corners here. I can go in and erase them. What I want to make sure I have is a smooth transition from this straight line up along the curve. So I'm gonna tap anywhere to get out of that. And then I'm going to press and hold on the eraser tool to erase with the technical pen. So I have a perfectly opaque line. And now I'm just erasing these corners. Okay, now we're going to fill this shape. I'm going to do this by color dropping. So I'm gonna tap the circle up here and then drag it over until it fills the shape and then repeat for all of the sections. And now I have my arch shape here and I'm going to add a layer on top of it because I want to keep this as my base and I'm gonna create layer masks on top. On this second layer, I'm going to tap once to bring up this side menu and then I'm gonna hit clipping mask. So the first layer that we are going to fill here as a clipping mask as a texture layer and I'm going to select a solid black and I'm going to move into the vintage brush set, which again is a native Procreate brush set. So this comes with the app. I'm going to select the Honey Eater brush I have the size set at 100%. And this is a pressure sensitive brush. So the more pressure you apply to the screen, the darker it's going to get. So what I am aiming for here is to have a smooth, consistent pressure across my whole screen. And I'm going to just fill all of this in without lifting my stroke. And you can see because it's a clipping mask, it only fills in the shape that it is clipped over. And now I'm gonna go into my layers panel here and I'm tapping the N to bring up the layer blend modes. I'm gonna change this to overlay. Now we can start to paint the fills. So adding in another layer. By moving to my layer one, my shape layer, if I add layers in from here, they're automatically going to come in as clipping masks because that is the precedent here is that it is a stack of clipping masks because we have the texture mask up on the top. So for the fill, I'm using one of my free brushes. This is a new brush that I have available on my site. It's the Watercolor Wizardry brush, and I'm going to fill in with this dark peach. And I have the brush size set to 100% here and opacity as well at 100%. And I'm going to fill in three quarters of this. 
And now I'm going to use the smudge tool and the smudge tool I'm going to set on my Flutty Smudge Brush, which is also available on my site for free. And this, I'm also setting the brush size at maximum. And I'm gonna use this to just push some of this pigment around and smooth out this stroke. And so when we're choosing colors here, it's important to note that everything will look a little darker with our overlay mask set up. And so if we wanted to change that slightly, we could go into our overlay settings here and change the opacity. So I'm gonna set it at 70, but depending on how saturated your colors are coming in, you might want to decrease it. And now we're ready to define the horizon and the hills in this image. So making sure that I'm in my fill layer, I'm, I'm going to tap the selection arrow, make sure that I'm on freehand selection, and I am going to draw about two thirds of the way up a slightly angled line. And then I'm going to select the rest of this shape. And this is going to be the sky. So now I have it selected. I'm going to tap the adjustments menu here, this little wand, and go into the hue, saturation, and brightness. And from here, I can adjust the hue. So it's the sky. So I'm going to move this until I get to a blue color. And then I'm going to darken this. I'm also going to reduce the saturation slightly. And then I'm going to tap this arrow and once again to get out of that panel. And once again, the selection tool. And now we're going to define some curvy hill shapes. To do this, I am starting from outside of my shape, drawing a bit of a wavy line here. And you can lift up your pencil. And then when you want to undo, just as you normally would, you can undo that stroke. Now I'm going to come back through and draw a second hill line and close the shape. And then from here with my selection, I'm going to tap the adjustments wand and go back into hue, saturation, and brightness. And this one, I am just going to darken this about 10%. And then I'm going to tap and hold on my selection tool. And I'm gonna tap invert. And then what I want to have selected is just this bottom portion. So I'm going to tap remove here and I'm selecting the rest of this shape because I don't want to change any of the colors up here that I've already adjusted. And I'm going to hit remove again. And now the only selection is down here at the very bottom. So then I'm going to go back into my adjustments panel and I'm going to make this a little darker and a little more saturated. So on this layer here, I'm going to go into my selection tool and I'm going to change it to ellipse and by just tapping and dragging, it'll create this circle shape. And to make it a perfect circle, I'm going to tap with one finger. And we're going to position this up on the side here. And then I'm going to color drop to fill that with white. And now on a new layer, again, still using the watercolor wizardry brush on the largest size, I'm going to fill in the sun shape. And then I'm going to use the smudge tool on the flutty smudge brush. And then I'm going to deselect by tapping the selection tool there. Now I can pinch to merge these together. And then I'm going to add another layer on top and selecting a solid white, I will switch back to the technical pen brush in the inking panel and I'm going to draw this cactus shape. And I'm starting the cactus at the base of this hill where the color transitions. And then I'm going to color drop to fill this sheet. And then I'm also going to go in and erase this the base of it here so that it really looks like it is set in between these two hills. And now I can tap on this layer and then tap select, add a new layer above, and that will allow me to paint just inside this shape. I'm going to select this green color and I'm going to use the watercolor wizardry brush And then this bloody smudge brush to blend. And then I'm going to use the bloody flow brush 
and a slightly darker green. And I'm just gonna add in some shade here. And then go back in with a bloody smudge brush to blend out those edges. And now as a last step, I am going to make my background just slightly less saturated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. If you make this and you share it on Instagram, be sure to tag me at Wooly Pronto and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more too. I put out new videos every week. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.